<laughs> How'd you yeah. get it? It's sick. It jumped right next to me and we fucking spotted it and I yelled. Fucking everyone panicked. And I tried to, I wanted, you know, he grabbed it and we were trying to get it back out there. No problem. The thing's obviously sick. It wouldn't yeah, come to no, the beach. No, no, no. It's got something wrong. Yeah, we're sort of at uh, a little pool area, and it's very interesting because look at all of the algal growth in there. And this is almost always, when you see this kind of algal growth, what's happening is they're probably fertilizing the grass around here, okay, in this little park area, and then it runs off and ends up in the pond. And just like when you fertilize, the reason you're fertilizing the grass is to make it grow. Well, algae is a plant as well, it loves the fertilizer and uh, it takes off. This is a, a process called eutrophication. Memorial Day and beyond is when it all stops. That's when all everything starts to open up you now. That's when you get the people to go by the beach. No. But more tendency to go to a clam shack, you know, on a warm summer night, you know. So that's how that works. Rule of thumb usually is it never gets into Boston Harbor. It never does. 72 was the last time that happened, you know. And nobody really ever got sick from it anyway. But this time it just uh, for whatever reason I, all the all the ingredients were right. You gotta have the wind direction, blowing it in during this, the early summer months, and the fresh water on top of it, which is the rain. The first time that demonic acid was found to be a marine toxin was in uh, 1987 when there was an outbreak in Canada uh, due to the consumption of mussels. And through there, three people died. About six people were permanently hospitalized with brain damage, and about 100 to 200 people suffered varying effects. You have to go to sea, and to, to do this, you have to go out and find out and explore. We started using data from uh, people who are doing phytoplankton toes and measuring oceanographic conditions up and down the coast. We can tell what kinds of phytoplankton blooms might be coming our way, you know, with a little bit of advance warning. So that's one way that this ocean observing system is really helping us and they're a very important component of the security for our business operations. We're really at the mercy of Mother Nature and uh, any information we can get to try to help us predict what's coming our way is, is extremely helpful. It's of such a great value to us to have this information and to know that these people are available you know, if, if we have a crisis and uh, we really appreciate it.